I am the result of two divergent paths. My mom is a college educator and my dad is a hula teacher. My siblings and I were raised to balance both because our parents stood firmly in their separate worlds. They did have one thing in common, hula. They are both accomplished hula teachers. However, separately, they walk through life. They did agree that hula was the way we as a family stayed connected to our culture and our ancestors. Soon enough, I turned a corner from feeling forced to dance hula to feeling like it was a natural part of my identity. Dancing hula became my outlet, my stress release, my coping mechanism. Hula became something to me and everyone who saw me dance could see how much it meant to me beyond the thing I was raised to do. And then, in high school, I was introduced to filmmaking. I became fascinated with this other way of storytelling. Growing up, my parents focused on storytelling through hula, but I couldn't take my eyes off many of the films that have influenced many others, and I wanted to know more about this world. When I graduated high school, I had decided to go to college and pursue filmmaking, or follow my parents and become hula teachers. I struggled with the idea of which path to follow. I decided to follow the practical path and attend college. However, things didn't work too well. I was failing classes and struggling to work a day job as well. My heart wasn't in it. I dropped out of college and followed my heart. I believe in my talents as a hula dancer, entertainer, and musician. I realized I could do this. I could make a future doing what I love. But then I struggled in a different way. My heart was in it, but the paychecks weren't. So now what? I was back to balancing both pathways, like when I was a kid with my parents. Only now, I was on my own. I spent many years going between these pathways and trying to make it work, but nothing was sticking. During this time, my dad's health took a nosedive, so I became a full-time caretaker while balancing multiple part-time jobs, pursuing a music career, and keeping my dad's hula school afloat. That's the moment I decided to go back to school and complete my degree in filmmaking. I needed a safety net in my life. I applied to the Los Angeles Film School and committed to accomplishing my dreams on my terms. Now back in school with a deeper perspective about why I chose this path, I discovered that there aren't many native Hawaiian filmmakers. In fact, foreigners and Westerners are telling my cultural history and the stories of my ancestors and they're telling these stories incorrectly. I felt a surge of energy when I realized I could tell these stories better because I've been telling these stories all my life. I know these stories in the hula that I dance, the songs I sing. I know these stories the way that I know how to breathe. It just happens. What better way to tell, share, and preserve these stories than through my love of filmmaking? This is my purpose, my place and my future in storytelling. I want to make sure the stories of our ancestors are told by us and for us. I want future generations to know who they are and where they come from, even if they've been separated from their ancestral lands. My goal is to capture people's stories and educate others through interviews, dance, or actual historical events in history. I am Josh Chang and I am ready to tell our stories.